More trouble on Colorado College campuses in Southern Colorado. CSU Pueblo has ordered the women's soccer team to quarantine for the next 14 days. And that's where News Channel 13's Dan Beatty joins us now live. Dan? The women's soccer team isn't the only sports team here on CSU Pueblo's campus that was forced to quarantine for 14 days. Both the men's and the women's lacrosse teams were also ordered to quarantine for two weeks. Now, the pandemic has struck Wolfpack soccer. According to CSU Pueblo, at least 16 of the 32 female soccer players were in contact with someone who contracted COVID-19. If there's a risk of exposure, we quarantine. That's how we know we keep our campus safe. It's how we keep our doors open. CSU Pueblo has had a total of 11 confirmed cases of students contracting the virus so far. More than half are student athletes but none are on the women's soccer team. The um, university's decision to quarantine is precautionary. Quarantining is not a bad thing. Uh, quarantining is what you do to protect the public. It's what we do to protect our community. Um, and if you've got someone quarantined who does develop symptoms, it means the spread is much, much less in the community and to our campus. The decision to quarantine comes one day after a 14-day campus-wide mitigation plan came to an end. But mitigating COVID-19 doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon for students adapt. or staff. We, we train to take on opponents. And this is our next opponent. Sierra Cardenas is the head coach for women's soccer at CSU Pueblo. She says her players should no longer expect the norm when it comes to college sports. Yeah, we can't practice. And that's obviously what the girls want to do because we haven't been to really, we haven't been able to really be together since March, but it's not something that's going to defeat us. And I Now, the women's soccer team works out in the same facility as both the men's and the women's lacrosse teams, but CSU Pueblo uh, officials tell me that the, the quarantines with the lacrosse teams and the quarantine with the women's soccer team have nothing to do with each other. Reporting live on CSU Pueblo's campus, Dan BDK, RDO, News Channel 13.